Welcome into the kitchen. We got a little bit more olive oil in the pan, getting ready to do our chicken. Yep, just want to warm that up a little bit. Um, the pure olive oil, you want to bring that as hot as almost smoke point. So when you're looking at the oil in the pan, you're going to see it start to shimmer just a little That's bit. That's when you know shimmer. you're there. That's when you know you're good to go. Yeah. Our chicken breasts here, seasoned with a little salt and pepper from our friends over at Salt in Wolfland. And so you cut a, a chicken breast in half, right? Yeah, so this is actually one large chicken breast. Um, it's gonna give me about two, four to five ounce portions. Okay. Which is a good portion for most people. Um, what I like to do is do the five ounce portions uh, for my wife and I, and then she'll eat like three or four ounces, and then I'll just finish hers. There you go. Yeah, problem solved. As you know what we call that in our house? You're the closer. I am. Like, it, if you're not going to finish that. Like John that, Rocker. You remember John Rocker? With yep. Oh, man. You're not going to finish that? I've got it. I'm, I'm good. So here's what we're going to do. I, I, I'm, uh, I'm a closet Yankees fan, so it would be a Rivera. Would oh, be a, a Rivera. oh, okay. All right. We can go with that. We can go with that. All right. We want to get a good hard sear on this. So you notice I only seasoned the one side, and then I laid it onto the seasoned side. So now I want to season the back side while it's in the pan. I do that for a couple reasons, It's Andy. already popping. One reason I do that is because it's easier to do, right? I don't have right. to flip it over all, all the time on the, on the plate. But another reason is because I'm going to build a pan sauce right here. And once we, once we build our pan sauce, I want to have a little bit of that salt and pepper in there with the fawn and with the beautifulness here. Okay, okay. Wh while we're cooking that down, let me ask you this question uh -huh. because I see you've got butter over there. Yeah. Now, in terms of our diets or uh, when we're in keto, Whole30, all that stuff. Where yeah, is everybody that's on Whole30 right now and that's Just read the that book, butter, yeah. they're like Rocky Butter, right? And they're upset. Right. Well, here's the thing. We want to we want to work with what is called ghee. It's a G H E E, which is actually a clarified butter. By the way, the Hartwigs will tell you it's Whole30 approved, right? Okay. The founders of Whole30. Because ghee, when we clarify, is removing all of the butter solids. So you clarify that butter, remove the butter solids, it actually makes this product Whole30 approved and shelf stable. You can keep this in your pantry, not even your refrigerator. How about that? Incredible, right? Okay. So a lot of classical cooking, French included, a lot of times is the ghee. It's not actually full fat butter. All so right. we put a good sear here. Look at that golden brown color, how beautiful that looks, right? Looks great. Yeah, absolutely. So we'll finish the sear here, then we're gonna use this pan then, when we come back, to produce the final component, which is the sauce, to our main dish. Okay. A, good, a good sear here, then it's gonna go in the oven, because we're gonna sear both sides, we're gonna set it right on top of the things that we have in the oven, Perfect. the carrots and the shallot. More Studio 4 after this.